He's played one of the most recognisable supervillains to have hit our screens, first stepping out as iconic comic book baddie Loki alongside Chris Hemsworth in Thor and then reprising the role in superhero epic The Avengers, a movie that went on to become the third highest grossing film of all time. You have made me very desperate. You might not be glad that you did. Ooh. It burns you to have come so close. British actor Tom Hiddleston has even nabbed two MTV Movie Awards for his acting efforts. And now the star is set to hit our screens again in upcoming sequel Thor, The Dark World. You must be truly desperate to come to me for help. If we do nothing, they will destroy us. You even think about betraying him. I'll kill you. That was from New York. I like her. <laughs> oh, he's bad? He's so good at being bad. The actor joins us live in the studio now. Hi, Tom. Hello, Kylie. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Australia. Thank you very much. When Thank we you. say things like third highest grossing film of all time, is it the work that's important or is, does it please you to have such you know, great box office figures as well, Tom? Well, uh, yeah, it's a good question. I suppose um, the thing that I love about that is it just means a lot of people saw it. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, when you're working as an actor, that's really all you want is, is for people to see the work and, and engage with it and, um, and enjoy it, you know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 uh, it's sort of often not said, like, actors love to work, but we're... We're, we're, we're no good if there's not an audience to watch sure? it. So, Tom, um, what do you love most about playing uh, the character Loki? I think it's the fact that he's just so fun. I mean, I mean, like Thor is the god of thunder, and Loki's the god of mischief. So my job is to turn up um, for work and be as mischievous as I possibly can. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's not a bad sort of job description in yeah. a way. Um, and I kind of love that there's something about him that's quite, he's a free agent, he's a free spirit. Um, and he's really complex, like as, as a character to create um, a psychology for, there's a lot of sort of heartbreak and, and um, emotional complexity that is, um, that makes the kind of, the, uh, the menace and the malevolence a bit more interesting for me. Yeah, here's a cool thing about you. It's been school holidays here in the last two weeks. <laughs> right, right. I've sat down, I've just watched your movie for the third time with wow. my boys. Wow. They're, uh, God, 11 and 8. <laughs> Sorry, okay. once he's had a birthday, I had to think. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> During the holidays, he had the birthday. Okay. I do know my sons very well, I yeah. know their ages. But so you've got the kids who love you, and then, uh, but your sort of fan base is really wide ranging. Why is that? I've no idea. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I sort of hope that it's just because they find the character interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, the good thing is I never, I never kind of think about... Um, I never tailor the character to a particular audience. You know, I think it's really important not to patronise people. Because sure? uh, people are smart and engaged. Mm. And um, uh, I just think if I, you know, try to create a, a character that's interesting and fun and, and intriguing, that people want to know more, then... You know, some people will love the fact that he wears a pair of crazy horns yeah. and can fly through the air, and other people will love the fact that he's kind of right, yeah. kind of tragic. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm that fan. Yeah, I'm you're the, no, I'm you're the, the guy who's <laughs> watched Thor over and over and over again, <laughs> and the Avengers, and and I love Thor, and I, and I know Kenneth Branagh directed uh, Thor, yeah. and, and we saw yeah. you at the premiere when you came out for yeah. that. He's such a, sh a Shakespearean director, and Indeed. I know you've got a lot of your uh, Shakespearean uh, heritage on the, in yeah. the theatre. Is it true that he cast you into the role of Loki from all of that experience in Shakespeare? I, I think it is, yeah. I mean, I think his, um, it's a sort of shared... We're both huge fans of Shakespeare and it's almost a shared frame of reference. It is. You see it in yeah. the films, you know, the brothers and the turmoil and the, yeah. the, everything going on around yeah. it. It looks like a Shakespeare play to me. Because the thing about Shakespeare that he understood, it, it, well, that he understood so well, and, and Ken has obviously kind of expanded on, is he understood, like the basic archetypes of human behavior. And so his plays are full of, of, um, of kings and princes, and those princes like warring for each other's affection. Like in King Lear, for example, there are two brothers. One of them is illegitimate, one is legitimate, and yep. they both kind of love each other, but they hate each other. Mm. And, um, Just like Thor and Loki. Yeah, you know, yeah. and Shakespeare was also really good about, about power, and that actually, like, people who run things, mm. you know, mm. people who run 
royal households or countries mm. um, are, are part of families that suffer the same kind of head bumping that we all suffer from, mm. you know, that, that people disagree. And so I guess you hope that that rubs off on the film in some way. Yeah. So Tom, we know that you went to boarding school. Yes, I did. In your native And you speak <laughs> yeah. beautifully. Thank you. <laughs> so I assume you did Shakespeare and, and drama, obviously, I did, yeah. Have you heard yeah. from your old drama teacher? Yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. And what does he yeah. think about you playing this sort of comic book hero? <laughs> like, did you, ever, did you ring him up and go, do you know what? I know I did all this great Shakespeare, but I'm in this latest Marvel comic. I, I, I think he kind of loves it actually. Yeah. Like they're all they're all so thrilled and proud, and um, you know, because these films are the great thing about them is they're seen everywhere. They're seen all over the world. And, sure. And um, um, you know, I think it's it's in everyone. You know, you when you first want to become an actor, you're a kid. Like you're you're mm. you know your Boys. sons mm. exactly, mm. and you respond to massive stories and for me it was Indiana Jones and James Bond and Star Wars and and so to be now to be in these films is kind of like yeah. living yeah. A, living out a childhood dream so hey Tom uh, Chris Hemsworth is, is yeah. a great uh, a son of the seven network how is <laughs> it playing alongside him do you enjoy it? he's the best yeah, yeah. truly he is, um, he is um, um, he's actually a magnificent actor I mean I know he tends to be celebrated the world over for his you know, not shabby looks and um, <laughs> and his charisma, but he's uh, he makes me better when I'm on screen with him. Like we have a real trust and and yeah. um, we have a lot of fun playing these guys. So. Did they let you watch Home and Away at boarding school? <laughs> I did. I grew up on the. I mean, I think I was probably too old when I was watching it. He was too young to be in it. But, sure. Um, yeah. It's biz like the popularity of Neighbours and Home and Away among English school mm. children is alarming, mm. myself and, included. And I love that you've got this great affinity because. It, at school, you were, were taught by some Aussies, which is why you could do that great Aussie accent. You <laughs> yeah. heard that on Sunrise. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it's the Aussies have been in my life or, or, or as far as like as long as I can remember. I had a housemaster who was Australian. I had um, like nurses at school were Australian. You know, so yeah, I'm a big fan of of, uh, of your you fine nation. You've perfected the accent quite you think? well. Yeah, I, I listen think it's to just you a sort of a bad Chris Hemsworth impression. Have, have I got it slow enough though? Because I actually come from Manly. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Sorry. I don't know, mate. Like, uh, I don't know where it comes from. It's just like, you know, like, I, um, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have to kind of, I don't know, I did, what do you want me to say? Like, um, <laughs> I'm being incredibly well. cliched right here, right now, and incredibly insulting to your people. No, but, um, it's good. no we I'm love it. I'm doing my best. We love it. We love yeah. it. Okay. You, do you get recognised much because you look so different in, in I everything? I do. That you yeah, do. I look like a kind of Scottish farmer at the moment. But um, do, do people recognise you? Do you get? Do yeah. people clock you or not? S yeah, some people yeah. do. Um, but you know, the good thing is I don't have you know long sleek raven black hair <laughs> and, and a face devoid of colour. Yeah, um, I, I think so. it's, it's pretty clear that people do follow him because there's a stack of girls out the front of the oh, really? studio. Okay. They're all waiting oh, to see Oh, like he's pretending he didn't know it. No, I haven't. I, I, came, I came in the back, the back way this morning. So, right. Yeah. I'm hoping to say hi to them when I leave. Good. Them. Right. Yeah. Good. I'd love that. Yeah. Great to talk to you. All lovely the best to with talk the new to you. Film. Thanks for having me very really much. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's lovely yeah. to see you. Awesome, mate. Thor The Dark World is released in cinemas nationally and you can see it from October 31. And the Gillies boys will be first in line. Yes. With mum.